firstly introduce myself. I'll give you a brief of what this uh, webinar uh, will be ab about, right? And then I'll be handing over the podium to Rohit Onkar, who will be our uh, guest speaker for today, who will be taking this uh, masterclass on digital marketing titled uh, Dive into Digital Marketing Without Experience. And exactly that is what this is about. You don't need to be coming here with any experience. We, we, are, uh, we know that all of you are just fascinated by this domain and want to build a career in it and want to learn about it. And that is exactly what we'll be doing today. Uh, we'll be teaching you uh, how to you know, go about uh, entering the domain, right? What should be your first step? We'll be talking about how to get through interviews. We'll be talking about how to build your career into the domain. Uh, we will be talking about some technical aspects of digital marketing and giving you a flavor of some of the topics, talking about some of the interesting campaigns that have happened across the globe, okay? So we'll be talking about very uh, specific stuff as well and generally broadly addressing uh, queries related to the profession as well. We want you to uh, go away from this session, uh, you know, inspired, to take up, inspired to take up digital marketing. And at the end of the session, you know, hopefully you would have had it figured out that if digital marketing is for you, right? And we will also be discussing case studies and campaigns so that you have some tangible takeaways from the session so that you learn something here. This session will be a demo for our five month paid uh, course on digital marketing. Up, I am from Upgrad Campus. Upgrad Campus is uh, organizing this session, okay? And uh, because we want to help you become digital marketers, we have this five month uh, uh, digital marketing course where we teach you digital marketing in a lot of detail uh, with, with a lot of case studies, with a lot of uh, uh, you know, practical examples. We have industry experts who come in and teach it. Uh, we have some of the finest entrepreneurs of the country. For example, uh, Kunal Shah from Cred is one of our teachers for the digital marketing course. So this session will also be a demo for uh, you know, our digital marketing certification program, right? So without further ado, I'll just uh, start, okay? Uh, welcome everyone. I'm Romit and I'm from Upgrad Campus. I work with the strategic initiatives team at Upgrad Campus, okay? And I will be your host for the session. Uh, with me today is Rohit Onkar. Uh, Rohit is a seasoned digital marketer. He has about 16 years of experience into uh, the industry and he's been doing digital marketing for quite a while. He's been heading digital marketing divisions for companies. Currently he's working with Ignite, okay, where he's uh, leading the digital marketing effort for them, right? So Rohit is someone, you know, who's, who's seen the digital marketing space in India really build, right? He, he has been one of the, you know, uh, pioneer members of it, and he's uh, seen the space grow, and he has, you know, grown in his career along with it. So he'll be able to provide you a very good perspective on, you know, whether digital marketing is for you or not, and how do you go about learning uh, digital marketing, right? Uh, so, uh, without further ado, what I'll do is I'll hand it over to Rohit, okay, from here, but just one final announcement. At the end of this session, we'll also be having a quiz on digital marketing uh, based on this session. So, you should attend the entire session and then take up that quiz. Anyone who does well on that quiz will be receiving a special discount, a ranker discount from our side on our paid digital marketing course, okay? So if you do well on that, you will be receiving a, a discount on our five month paid digital marketing course, so, which will really help you become a digital marketer eventually, right? Uh, so over uh, to you, Rohit. Uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone is waiting to hear you. I am uh, really excited to, uh you know, speak to all of you. And uh, I have got, uh, I have seen a lot of questions in the chat. I've seen a couple of uh, questions in the Q&A tab as well. And uh, I will be, uh, I will be addressing all of them, uh, you know, uh, so through the content that we are going to present today. And also I'll be happy to take uh, uh, more questions during the session uh, at the end of the presentation. And uh, yeah, uh, there's a request from Anjali. Can you speak in Hindi? So yeah, a little bit of uh, Hindi in between, uh, for sure. Uh, uh, 
Yes. Uh, so most of this session would be in English, Anjali, because we have people coming in from uh, across the country, but there will be bits and pieces in Hindi. Rohit, uh, can you try turning on your camera now? Yes, works. Okay. Great. We Thank can you so see much. you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi again, guys. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, let me get right to it. Okay. And uh, uh, we keep it uh, very interactive. Uh, right. And if you have any questions, uh, you can, uh, you know, put them in the chat box. Uh, you can put it in the section, uh, right. We'll be very happy to take those questions, right. Uh, Romit, just feel free to, uh, you know, uh, take questions in between, uh, where you want me to pause. I'll be happy to take those questions. Okay. Uh, I'll be keeping a tab myself as well, but, uh, if you can, uh, you know, monitor the questions and the chats will be great. Okay. Sure. Sure, Rohit. I'll do that. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, put them on the Q&A section uh, and, and we'll be more than happy to take them. Please put them in the Q&A section instead of the chat so that we can track them better. All right. Uh, let's get started. Uh, I want to talk about uh, marketing and your career aspects in the digital era. Uh, you know, I... Uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, start my career in digital marketing in India when digital marketing was in its infancy, uh, right? Uh, when I started, uh, all the established terms of digital marketing that you see on the internet, uh, SEM, PPC, SMM, SEO, all of those were jargons uh, to us. And, uh, 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 you know, me and my batchmates, uh, we had the uh, privilege to uh, craft many uh, acronyms, uh, many strategies, work on a lot of key campaigns. And, uh, you know, the world has obviously uh, moved in the last 15 years since I started my career. Uh, digital marketing is a lot more formalized. Uh, you know, uh, back in my days, it was all hands-on. Uh, it was uh, both a blessing and a curse, uh, blessing in the sense that it gave me the opportunity to create uh, my own training modules. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, it, it that you see today, uh, you know, uh, being structured into a training module, uh, uh, you know, uh, people who started their career with me, we had that honor to kind of contribute a little bit to it. Uh, so in that sense, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's been a wonderful journey. And uh, what I want to do today is uh, I want to I want this masterclass to be uh, a little different uh, in the sense that uh, I'm not, uh, uh, see, there is YouTube, uh, there is the internet, uh, you know, uh, there is free information at your disposal. Uh, one thing that I want to uh, set right at the beginning uh, is that to be a successful digital marketer, uh, you need to have your own style. You need to establish your own style, right? Uh, because uh, we are living in a culture which is the open web culture where everything is available without a cost, with a cost. There is free flow of information. Uh, and I would say that as a disclaimer uh, for not only this masterclass, but anything that you attend related to digital marketing, uh, you know, once you get into the field, it's important to experiment and validate the hypothesis that you hear from uh, industry practitioners like me, right? Uh, for example, just because I, I tell you that a particular type of creative works, uh, it may have worked for me in a particular situation. It may have worked for me six months before. That doesn't mean that it will work for your brand. It will work for, uh, you know, the thing that you're doing right now. And I'm not saying that it may not work. There's a chance that it may work. But I'm the point that I'm trying to make is, one important skill to get into digital marketing is the ability, one, to do research, and second, the ability to fail fast. Uh, in marketing, there isn't any other channel apart from digital marketing, which allows you to try 10 things in 10 days and fail in nine, and then succeed in one, and more than cover for the nine things that you have failed in, right? And, and we'll talk about that. Uh, but I just wanted to start, about, uh, start with a disclaimer. There are four important things that I want to cover in this uh, 45 minutes, an hour, one and a half hours that we have with question and answers, right? I want to uh, talk about the digital marketing poem, 
okay uh, i've tried to acronymize it so that uh, there were a lot of questions saying that i want to start my own sem agency should i start an sem agency should i start a social media agency uh, how do i prepare for an interview i'm from a bcom background i'm from a ba background how do i get into the field of digital marketing uh, you know uh, what can i pick what can i uh, leave behind so i'm i'm trying to answer all of that in the first two uh, uh, sections of my presentation uh, and then i'm going to dive uh, into campaigns okay uh, the third part which is let's talk campaigns is going to be the most technical part of the presentation uh, and uh, not too technical uh, you will see a couple of uh, uh, ad dashboards uh, you'll see a couple of excel sheets uh, don't get freaked out uh, i'll i'll make it as simple as possible uh and the last section we'll talk about some case studies uh and a little inspiration never hurts so uh i'm going to leave you with with some inspiration as you as you look to begin your ca uh, career in this uh, field of digital marketing okay how do we get started right a lot of you had this question okay uh, you may be an entrepreneur looking to start your own digital agency you might be an entrepreneur looking to grow your business using digital marketing you may be a student trying to get into the field of digital marketing right and i think this should resonate with all it should help all right uh, so digital marketing was a poem when i started uh, it is a poem today right now uh, uh, you know uh, like i said a lot of uh, uh, different people will have a different way of uh, defining digital marketing uh, you know uh, there are multiple facets there are multiple sub uh, verticals in digital marketing uh, but all of it always boil down to these four and and currently also is this four and anything that comes up five years down the line one year down the line can be fitted in one of these markets right and 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 i'll try and simplify this for you right uh, so the first uh, uh, bucket is paid media uh, right and uh, uh, the second bucket is owned media the third bucket is earned media and the fourth bucket is measurement okay and we'll we'll get to what it is uh, right but easy to remember there is paid media there is owned media there is earned media and there is measure okay p o e m right it's that that is how you uh, kind of define digital marketing okay and uh, uh, you know uh, now i'll i'll get to what uh, uh, the digital poem is all about right uh, but uh, uh, you know just a quick question and you can use the uh, q and a section or the chat section to uh, answer this uh, and 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 i know that uh, some of you may not understand the digital poem in its entirety okay but uh, what's your view uh, do you need to know the entire digital marketing poem uh, as someone who wants to get started with digital marketing as a as a student who wants to uh, get into digital marketing uh, do you think you need to know the entire poem okay i'm getting some answers okay i'm getting yes so focus on only one area okay yes 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 okay excellent so you need to know the full poem some people say that you have to focus on one area okay excellent excellent okay okay great great so a mix of uh, uh, you know answers okay okay i'm seeing some questions as well okay uh, uh, just as a disclaimer uh, if you have questions and answers that you want to ask put it in the q and a uh, if i am asking a question and you want to respond just put it in the chat section okay that will help us uh, keep track of things much better okay okay let's uh, let's try and answer this okay and i i think in all honesty before we uh, you know try and answer this um, and 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 i'll i'll ask this question again in a bit uh, but it's important for everyone to understand uh, what the digital poem is all about okay and uh, Uh, okay, we we don't get too distracted by the P one, P three, P four, P two. Uh, we'll we'll come to uh, what P one, P two, P three, P four is all about, right? Uh, but just spending a couple of minutes or more than a couple of minutes, about five minutes, uh, uh, to understand what uh, uh, the digital poem is all about, right? Uh, uh, digital marketing, uh, you know. Uh, now it's not important uh, which of the first elements of the poem came first. whether o came first e came first or m came first or p came first okay uh, but the fact that the, the point that is important is that it is a poem okay so uh, the first element of the poem is uh, paid media uh, right uh, now very simply don't don't jargonize this uh, too much uh, or or don't complicate it too much 
uh, you all or most of us have a Instagram account. Uh, most of us may have a Facebook account. Uh, almost all of us today use a smartphone uh, and are on Google. Uh, almost all of us consume content, whether it's news content, whether it's entertainment content on our mobile devices. Any ad that you see is under the realm of paid media, right? And uh, you know, it's uh, uh, we we will we'll get to the science behind ads in a bit. Uh, but as a consumer, uh, any advertisement that you see, it's paid media, right? And and there are many uh, advertisements. Uh, there are the irritating advertisements, and there are the non-irritating advertisements. As a consumer, uh, we'll get to the irritating ones and the non-irritating ones in a, in a bit. Uh, but you see uh, videos in the form of advertisements. Uh, if you're on YouTube before the video, uh, 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 there are some experiments going on that show six non-skippable six seconder ads on YouTube, right? So, I mean, uh, you're watching something on uh, YouTube just before the uh, video an ad comes uh, in the middle of the video an ad might come, right? So all of us have experienced uh, some form of uh, uh, advertising. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh this is uh, what is uh, paid media okay and and, and we we'll, we'll get to uh, what is tofu and gofu in a bit uh, but but understand the concept of paid media right uh, then there is owned media uh, right owned media is essentially the ability to have your own store or your own presence on digital and uh, uh, most often than not uh, that presence till now has been restricted to a website Okay. Uh, and again, I say this with a disclaimer, this masterclass done after one year, we may talk about uh, uh, retail stores being there in the metaverse, right? And metaverse may become a presence. I don't know. Uh, right. But, but right now, uh, okay. Uh, owned media is restricted to uh, a person having their own website. Uh, you may not want to sell goods directly through the website. It could just be an informational website or it could be a transactional website. Uh, the third aspect of the poem is earned media. Uh, earned media, again, uh, is, is all about uh, the influencers uh, that you see nowadays, uh, right? Uh, the syndication of uh, digital PR. Uh, okay, uh, there's a blurred line between, uh, uh, you know, uh, between owned media and earned media in terms of both of, the, uh, both of these components being overlapping components. Uh, okay, and, and we'll get to that as well. Uh, the fourth bit is the measurement bit, okay? Uh, where everything that you do on the digital front is, is fully measurable, uh, okay? Uh, so this is uh, uh, what are the four aspects uh, uh, of uh, digital marketing, uh, okay? Uh, okay, somebody wants a repetition of the last topic, so I'll, I'll go very quickly. Uh, paid media is all about ads that you see on digital. Uh, owned media is having your own website or your Facebook page or your Instagram handle and having a presence uh, online, uh, right? Uh, uh, and and to, to, to kind of have a website or, or to kind of post something from Facebook or Instagram, uh, you don't have to pay anything to Instagram. You don't have to pay anything to Google. You don't have to pay anything to Facebook. Uh, earned media is all about influencer marketing, syndication of news and content on third party websites and measurement is tying it all together. Uh, okay, uh, now I asked the question before, uh, do you think all elements of the poem are uh, important? Uh, at the beginning of your career, it's important and uh, uh, this is something that I would say is set in stone. Begin your career with one element, okay? Uh, begin your career with one element. Uh, wait wait three years, five years, I mean, wait, wait for a period of three to five years. Uh, to then move to a broader aspect, right? Uh, when I started my career, I started my career uh, with owned media. Uh, so I did social media marketing uh, and a little bit of SEO. Uh, the first five years of my career were just owned media. Uh, and today, uh, after 15 years of experience, uh, I, uh, I, I kind of uh, take control of all the aspects of, of the poem, right? So, uh, uh, you know, start with one and then go on to kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, move into the other areas. Uh, now, uh, I have put P1, P2, P3, P4. So I have tried to group uh, uh, group uh, these uh, verticals into categories, right? Uh, paid media, uh, often when you get into a paid media profile. Now, what is a paid media profile? A paid media profile would be an SEM analyst, a PPC manager, a campaign manager, 
okay uh, a paid social media manager okay these are guys uh, or these are people who would end up managing ad campaigns on facebook okay who would end up managing ad campaigns on instagram ad campaigns on youtube and when i say ad campaigns uh, i am not talking about uh, uh, you know you don't necessarily need to know how to uh, create an ad creative or you you don't have to yourself make a video but uh, the video that is given to you by a creative team or the creative that is given to you by the creative team uh, you define the specs you define the requirement uh, pushing of that creative to a larger audience pushing of that ad to a larger audience is what a paid media specialist does right uh, so p1 and p2 are grouped together because paid media cannot happen without measurement uh, which essentially means that if you are spending 100 rupees on facebook uh, okay uh that 100 rupees needs to be justified so you need to uh, understand uh, or you need to be able to justify what is the return of uh, the 100 rupees that you have spent now again that return might be in the form of sales that return might be in the form of inquiries that return might be in the form of clicks that return might be in the form of uh, video views or reach okay but uh, very rarely would you be successful if you only pick paid media and you know you, you may have a paid media profile you may be called a ppc manager but you have to work very very closely with the analytics team or the measurement team right so keshav your question is uh, uh, which element of the poem is better for beginners okay uh, again it it depends okay uh, but but if i have to answer this if you have a quantitative bent of mind okay and and again i say it with a disclaimer okay you don't have to be a math wizard okay quantitative in the sense that if you are able to understand that 5 becoming 10 is a 100% increase okay if 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 not that you know uh, i am not saying that you you have to calculate it or anything like that but if you have a good sense of numbers if you are comfortable reading numbers okay you don't again i repeat you don't need to be a genius in uh, differential equations or calculus or anything like that uh, okay uh, but if you understand numbers i would say start your career with paid media if you have an inclination towards number uh, if you have an inclination towards uh, the creative aspects uh, right uh, if if you like uh, uh, you know creating memes for example or if you feel that you can create viral content and again okay uh, viral content uh, is is moving towards vernacular so uh, you know it, it's it's great that you can create content in english uh, but uh, you can create content हिंदी में भी आप कंटेंट क्रिएट कर सकते हो रीजनल लैंग्वेज में भी आप कंटेंट क्रिएट कर सकते हो राइट इट्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड दैट क्रिएशन ऑफ कंटेंट टुडे इज नॉट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बाय एनी लैंग्वेज ओके सो इफ यू हैव अ क्रिएटिव बेंट ऑफ माइंड लीन टुवर्ड्स अर्नड मीडिया ओके इफ यू हैव अ टेक्निकल बैकग्राउंड एंड अगेन व्हेन आई से टेक्निकल बैकग्राउंड आई आई लेट मी नॉट यूज द वर्ड बैकग्राउंड इफ यू हैव अ टेक्निकल इंक्लिनेशन इन द सेंस दैट यू हैव बीन क्यूरियस अबाउट हाउ यू आर ट्रैक्ड ऑनलाइन यू नो हाउ योर डेटा वर्क्स ऑनलाइन how do how do websites work online lean towards owned media okay so very very simple three buckets okay uh, if you are a creative bent of mind please lean towards earned media if you are a numbers bent of mind please lean uh, please lean uh, towards paid media and measurement and if you have a slight tech inclination uh, lean towards seo and owned media yeah okay uh, promit anything from you no that makes a lot of sense uh, rohit and uh, i mean uh, you have clearly laid out how uh, digital marketing is for everyone and there is a certain aspect of it uh, where everyone uh, coming from different background can start right so so that is very interesting and i think uh, uh, you know the attendees uh, will will uh, really relate to it and and will be able to pick the right uh, point to start for uh, them uh guys uh if if you want to keep on uh, i'm i'm sure you're enjoying the session right now if you want to keep on learning more about digital marketing or if you want to get like a free career counseling session from our side uh, on digital marketing like how do you go about it in in terms of further steps right or you want to get a notification of our future master classes i'm putting this form on on the chat just take a minute just fill out that form provide us feedback for this master class as well however it has been for you so far uh and uh just uh, you know take a minute to uh, fill out this form and we'll keep you uh posted on all the content that we have on digital marketing and all of our future master classes so i'm just putting the form on the chat just take a minute to uh 
uh, fill it, right? Uh, also, in, in our certification course, guys, we, we do provide placement support for you guys. So as a starting point, you might require an internship uh, or, or a placement. So once we train you, we get you placed as well. So that's a very important uh, part of our, uh, you know, paid certification course, which is of a five, five month duration. Over to you, Rohit. Yep, that was all so, for me. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so I'll, I'll take a couple of questions that's come in the Q&A session. Okay, so uh, uh, we need, yes, uh, earned media uh, lean towards, uh, uh, you, if you have a creative bent of mind, uh, lean a little towards earned media and uh, the social media aspect of uh, owned media. Uh, you know, uh, there is a strong overlap now that is happening in the industry with uh, influencers uh, being treated as a part of uh, your own social channel. Uh, so if you are a little creative, uh, you know, it, it helps to see uh, what happens is uh, uh, when you have an influencer posting for a brand, uh, very rarely would an influencer, uh, you know, uh, uh, be an advocate for the brand. Now, now, now they may be an advocate for the brand, but, but there is a lot of creative input given by the brand or the agency working for the brand where you've got to guide the influencer in terms of uh, uh, what kind of creative they should be using, what kind of language they should be using. Uh, so all of that comes uh, within that realm of uh, organic marketing, which is an overlap between own media and earned media, right? Uh, yeah, uh, measurement again. Uh, so uh, measurement, unless and until you are uh, looking for a standalone uh, analytics uh, profile, uh, measurement in isolation uh, 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 would, would not make sense. Uh, if you combine it with paid media, uh, and if you have an analytical bent of mind, uh, I would say start your career uh, in, in either of the two buckets, uh, a combination of paid media and measurement, uh, right? Uh, what is Tofu and Bofu? Uh, so Bofu stands for top of the funnel. Uh, Bofu stands for bottom of the funnel. Uh, and I'll, I'll break it down as we go uh, a little later. Uh, but essentially, uh, uh, when, when you have, so, so let's say you, you see an ad from Nike uh right uh from from a nike store uh you see a youtube video from nike uh, uh that that video might not have a link for you to shop online uh right that is very top of the funnel uh because nike is trying to uh you know uh, uh communicate to you and, and 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 make you aware about the product so that's typically top of the funnel uh bottom of the funnel uh something from flipkart uh, where you see an ad on uh, Facebook uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it, it talks about 40% uh, off on your favorite product. That is typically bottom of the funnel. So bottom of the funnel is very, very result oriented. Uh, top of the funnel is more awareness oriented. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's move on and we'll uh, keep taking the questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Programmatic uh, advertising Aditya would fall in paid media. Uh, anything that is paid, uh, okay, uh, is is paid media. Whether it is programmatic, whether it is self serve, whether it is Facebook advertising, YouTube advertising, anything with the word advertising is paid media, uh, right? Uh, so, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, uh, I want to spend time on uh, breaking a myth. Okay, uh, a lot of people talk about uh, power tools. A lot of people talk about uh, uh, do I need to know this tool? Uh, do I need to know this language? Okay, is there an advantage if I know Tableau? Is there an advantage if I know SQL? Is there an advantage if uh, uh, if I know JavaScript? Uh, you know, is there an advantage if I know a programming language? Uh, you know, is uh, uh, you know uh, is CleverTap a great tool? Uh, do I need to know about Google Analytics? Should I know about Adobe Analytics? Okay, uh, let me make a very very honest disclaimer. Uh, most of the tools that you need to know about uh, are tools which are available to everybody. Uh, okay. There isn't a specialized tool uh, that the industry works on, uh, which is de facto or default for digital marketing. What I mean by that is that there isn't a singular player uh, which says that we are the go-to tool for digital marketing. Okay. Uh, some of the largest brands in the country, some of the largest agencies in the country uh, would, would have open source tools or, or tools that they have created in-house or would not have tools at all. Now, what I mean by itself, uh, uh, what I mean by that is that digital marketing or the aspects of digital marketing in itself are, are very tool-based. Uh, for example, uh, if, if you are in social media, if you're a social media associate or if you're a social media manager, 
uh, you need to be able to know about or you need to be able to interpret data from instagram analytics right now instagram analytics for a business profile becomes a tool in itself facebook insights for someone who owns a facebook page is a tool in itself someone who's into seo google search console and google analytics are tools in themselves someone who's into paid media facebook ads manager or google advertising dashboard google ads dashboard which was previously called google adwords is a tool in itself right uh, so there is no tool that is built over these tools or everything in digital marketing is very tool oriented right uh, so is there a prerequisite that you need to know about any tool before you enter uh, uh, digital marketing now when i say know about any tool do you need to know how to navigate through it do you know, need to kind of know the nuances of it uh, i would say no there is no prerequisite you don't need to know any tool but yes you still need to kind of know the various uh, uh, aspects uh, uh, that are uh, that that are uh, that are available in digital marketing uh, and 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 that is why uh, you know uh, whenever i do it with people who want to whenever i do this session with people who want to enter the field of digital marketing uh, i always encourage that uh, uh, you know Uh, it's it's good to kind of uh, uh, enroll yourself for a digital marketing course there is nothing uh, wrong in it it's it's good uh, you know uh, familiarize yourself with uh, everything in detail uh, but don't get too obsessed with uh, 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 you know i i see a lot of people uh, you know wanting to do a, a facebook blueprint certification uh, a, a google digital garage certification uh, and i'm not discouraging it uh, go and do it uh but it's not a prerequisite to enter into the field of digital marketing uh reading about digital marketing doing a course uh, and learning the nuances of digital marketing uh understanding that there is a different dashboard for google advertising there is a different dashboard for facebook ads there is a different dashboard for linkedin advertising uh there is something called as linkedin analytics there is something called as instagram uh, analytics there is something called as facebook analytics facebook insights uh knowing all of that is is necessary you don't necessarily need to be a user of that tool uh, right uh, that is something will, that will only come with hands on experience right uh, uh, so yeah so uh, uh, what i try to do here is uh, you know uh, if if you were to just take uh, one of the elements of the poem if you were to just take uh, paid media uh, right uh, it could be divided into various uh, uh, facets which have a tool in itself right so now you talk about search uh, google search and everybody is familiar with google search uh you type buy a mobile phone today uh you will see that the first four or five results are ads and the first uh, and and then the later results are non ads right and everybody um, i mean i would say most people are now able to kind of identify what is an ad and what is a what is not an ad if you are not able to identify uh after this session you can google whatever you want uh, you know uh, buy a phone uh, buy a lipstick buy a t-shirt online uh you know buy a car uh, buy a health insurance you will see a plethora of ads uh, you will you will you will understand that on the top left uh, there is a disclaimer that this is an ad look carefully uh, you know nobody wants you wants you to know that it's an ad uh, and that is why digital is so effective because most of the digital ads are native ads in the sense that they feel like they are organic results you don't come to know that they are an ad so there is search which is done through google ads there is display that is done through a variety of platforms google ads is one platform uh, there is there are so many program, programmatic platforms in the country today uh, that you have a plethora of options but again so display advertising is an avenue google ads is a man, is a way to manage that display advertising tv uh, 360 is a is a is a is a tool to manage that display advertising but don't get too obsessed with tools uh, i'll i'll tell you the field is so dynamic that there is an entrepreneur sitting uh you know somewhere today uh, who's trying to come up with the next best tool so there are there, there there are more than 20 tools that i am aware of there are some tools that i am not used uh, right and there'll always be tools that you will not use but but i can tell you one thing uh if if i am given a access to a tool today i will take about less than a day to learn it uh, right uh, so I, the point that i'm trying to make is understand the nuances of the medium search is a medium display is a medium social is a medium okay uh, uh, you know uh, facebook started with facebook advertising uh, later on in, uh, acquired instagram and instagram advertising got added to it uh, once you are able to pick up facebook and instagram you haven't seen twitter advertising but you do twitter advertising you'll be able to pick it up because the principles behind it remain the same 
uh, the interface changes, nuances change a little bit, but the principles remain the same, uh, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, don't be too tool obsessed. Uh, be more obsessed with uh, uh, understanding uh, the avenues of, uh, uh, of, of where those tools are used. Makes a lot of sense, Rohit. And, and that is why, uh, you know, in, in our course at Upgrad Campus as well, we try to keep it fairly uh, tool agnostic, right? And we try to focus more on, uh, you know, the principles and, and the core of it, right? Developing that aptitude, the understanding of it. And of course, then teaching uh, like multiple tools, which are uh, very, very relevant today, right? Some of the ones that you talked about, right? So, yeah. so looks interesting. Okay, so Arman has a question. Arman, uh, yeah, what do I mean by a technical background? Okay, so uh, so I uh, I have an engineering background. Okay, but uh, that is some uh, that is not what I mean by a technical background. Okay, a technical background is just curiosity to uh, to to know the why behind uh, things. Uh, in the sense that uh, uh, you know uh, why does the website uh, display certain pieces of content before the other uh, pieces of content, right? Uh, what is the language behind the website, right? Now, now I can't, uh, uh, you know, I can read HTML, uh, which is the language of uh, websites on the internet. I can't write HTML, right? So technical background is having an inclination towards uh, the technologies that are being used. You, you, in, in my digital marketing career, I have uh, never coded in my life. Okay, so I have not touched code. Uh, will knowing code be an advantage? Obviously, yes. Anything that you learn in life is an advantage. Uh, would I have been a better digital marketer if I knew how to code? Probably not, uh, right? Because I, I haven't seen the need of doing it much, uh, okay? Uh, so that is what I mean by technical background. More than technical background, I would say a technical inclination, uh, Arman, is, is something that, he, uh, that you would uh, require, okay? Uh, I can see some hands being raised. Uh, we will take questions. Uh, hand raises is something that I want to do uh, towards the end because I have something more to cover and i would really want to cover that uh okay uh roman is that all right yeah per works perfectly okay okay uh this is some uh, this is one place i want to uh, get a little technical uh, uh i want to deep down into deep dive into campaigns okay uh now broadly there are many types of campaigns okay uh in the interest of time uh, I want to cover two types of campaigns. Uh, one is the lead gen campaign and one, the other is the e-commerce campaign. Okay, what's the difference? I'll tell you the difference, okay? Uh, let's let's get to, okay. Yeah, let's get to a complicated Excel sheet and I'll, I'll, I'll simplify that for you, okay? But uh, this is what I mean by a lead gen campaign, okay? Okay, uh, you click on an ad, you come to a landing page, you have an inquiry form, okay? This is very similar to any advertiser doing it, uh, okay? Uh, but you fill up a form uh, and you subscribe to a service. Essentially, you are not buying the product online, okay? But what you're doing is that you are filling up an inquiry form. That is what I mean by a lead gen campaign, okay? Uh, the second campaign is an e-commerce campaign. Very simple to understand. Uh, someone like an Amazon, someone like a Flipkart running a campaign where you can click on an ad and when you click on an ad, you can directly add the product to your cart and make the purchase online. So the difference between a lead gen campaign and an e-commerce campaign is that a lead gen campaign generates an inquiry which can then be given to a sales team uh, and the follow-up can be done on a call or uh, in a physical meeting, etc, etc. E-commerce uh, 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 completes the transaction online. Right, so both of them are uh, two campaigns uh, where digital marketers uh, spend a lot of time, uh, a lot of effort, a lot of money behind these campaigns, trying to optimize these campaigns. Uh, uh, you know, so I, I just wanted to kind of actually give you a sense of um, how the dashboard looks like. Uh, okay, uh, now this is what an e-commerce campaign looks like. Okay, uh, okay. Now, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I am I will get into uh, the nuances of the campaign uh, in, in a little bit, okay? Uh, but essentially, uh, this is a campaign uh, where you can, where you can read all the data, okay, in, in one go. So essentially, uh, 
you know, we, we spoke about uh, uh, a while back, we spoke about uh, uh, the ability to run different ads, uh, okay? Uh, and, 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 and digital marketers uh, often kind of uh, run different ads, right? Uh, now, what does this particular uh, uh, dashboard tell me? Uh, so this is uh, essentially the Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, okay, uh, uh, it, it is the it is the tool that is used by Facebook uh, or by digital marketers for sales of advertising or for 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 putting their ads out there, right? So in a nutshell, this particular campaign tells me uh, that this particular brand for the month of November has spent close to three lakh rupees which is 2,75,000 rupees to be exact. And what does this also tell me? This also tells me that this particular brand by spending 2,75,000 rupees has generated 18 lakh worth of sales. Yeah. Can you see this? Just highlighted this. Any part is not getting highlighted, but yeah. So, you know, this is the, uh, you'll be able to see my cursor. Right, so uh, if you see this particular column, yeah, 18 lakh worth of sales or 18.4 worth uh, lakh worth of sales for 2.75 uh, amount spent. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, you know it's it's important to kind of uh, uh, understand uh, that uh, uh, as when you when you get into the field of digital marketing, you are you are held accountable for these numbers, and there's a way to kind of uh, uh, achieve these numbers, right? Uh, just giving a gist, not wanting to spend a lot of time, uh, but uh, the ability to uh, really, uh, you know, uh, cater, uh, uh, you define your audiences, uh, okay, and target your audiences becomes very, very important, uh, okay? Uh, I'll just show you how the ad looks like, uh, okay? Let's see if you'll be able to preview it. Okay. All right. Uh, all of this, uh, the reason I'm showing all of this is uh, uh, to show you what a digital uh, marketer is able to do, uh, right, or responsible for doing. Uh, so uh, you can you can see that uh, uh, there are ads, I mean, there are there are ads on Instagram. This is how it would appear on reels and stories and stuff like that, right? Uh, so a digital marketer is, uh, uh, is is the one who's responsible for creating such uh, e-commerce campaigns, right? Uh, and everything here is is measurable, okay? Uh, want to spend quickly two minutes on uh, uh, what a lead gen campaign looks like, okay? Uh, very rarely as a digital marketer would you be running one campaign uh, you know, you would uh, you would end up running multiple campaigns, and uh, you know, uh, I don't want to get too technical on this, uh, but uh, the point that I'm trying to make is uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, stop measuring uh, digital marketing uh, at the click level. So they would spend uh, thousand rupees on an ad, and and they would report at the end of the day that uh, from these uh, thousand rupees that I've spent, I've got hundred odd clicks. Okay, now that is not enough. Uh, you know, uh, for digital marketing to be successful, uh, you go and measure something called as customer acquisition cost, right? Uh, and and I want to make this disclaimer straight away that everything in digital marketing is is measurable, uh, right? Uh, so right from the uh, right from someone seeing your ad uh, to a person taking an action, whether that action is uh, coming to your website or that action is filling up a form on your website or that action is uh, you know completing a purchase on your website, all of that is 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 measurable, right? Uh, if you see here, there is a cost per result, uh, which is your cost per purchase, right? So this brand has spent three thousand four hundred rupees to get a purchase, and they have got about. Uh, there is that number about 80 purchases in this month. Okay, I can't see that number, but uh, uh, 81 purchases in this number, right? So, eight, uh, in, in this month, so 81 purchases at a cost per purchase of 3412. So, the point that I'm trying to make is everything is measurable. Uh, okay, uh, measure right, and uh, you know, uh, if you if you have that inclination of again, all of this data I'm not calculated, okay, it's given to me. Uh, the ability that uh, you need to have is the inclination to interpret data. Uh, that's that's all you need to know. Rohit, I, I think you mentioned uh, CAC here, customer acquisition cost. Uh, can you explain that in a bit more detail? I, I think that is important. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, customer acquisition cost is a standard uh, metric that is used in the industry. Uh, it's a simple formula. It is if you spend 100 rupees and you acquire two customers, your CAC is 100 divided by two. That means you spend 50 rupees to acquire one single customer. So your customer acquisition cost is how much you have spent on digital marketing divided by the number of customers you have achieved through that activity, right? And uh, CAC is a is 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 a very very important parameter not only for early age startups but even matured businesses. Uh, every digital marketer has a CAC target today. Uh, if, if you're working for, uh, I mean, even even people at Upgrad have a, a CAC target, right? A anybody doing digital marketing for Upgrad has a CAC target, right? Uh, uh, you you would have uh, you know Zepto, you will have uh, Cred, you will have all the and even larger companies, right? You will have larger companies yeah. like Amazon, uh, companies like Kotak Securities, uh, banks like HDFC. Everybody has a CAC target, right? It is how much you are investing versus that how many customers you are getting. So it becomes very very important. Right. And and this is the re, uh, the reason it has become very important today in, in the world of startups is because uh, most startups are not profitable because their CAC is too high, right? Because they're burning too much money acquiring customers and their uh, unit price is not that much, right? Yes. So that yes. is why it, it has uh, like fundamentally become very, very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very interesting question by Nitin. Uh, he's asking me, would these tools affect future opportunities in digital marketing by automating almost everything? Oh, Nathan, that's a fantastic question. Okay. Uh, let me tell you over my 15 year old journey, I've seen almost everything get automated. Okay. Uh, but I think Roman touched upon that. Okay. Today, our digital marketers value is if you can go and tell the interviewer, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a science and an art both. So there is some bit of confidence and prediction involved, but if you can sit down with a business owner, if you can sit down with an entrepreneur, if you can sit down in front of an entrepreneur and tell him that I will move your CAC from 7,000 rupees to 1,000 rupees, or I will help you lower your customer acquisition cost. That's the art. So, uh, again, I said, uh, and I, I repeat this point, do not be married to the tool. Uh, the tool will be automated. The tool may go away. Uh, today there is Facebook. Tomorrow there is something else, uh, right? Uh, but if you know the nuances of optimization, uh, right? No amount of automation uh, will be able to take away your job, uh, right? Uh, today, uh, everybody can create a Facebook campaign, okay? Uh, and I literally mean everybody can create a Facebook campaign. All it requires is some amount of training and some amount of handholding. Okay. But one out of the thousand people that can create a, a Facebook campaign can take on the challenge and say that I will reduce the customer acquisition cost by 20% month on month. Uh, let me let me say it very, very honestly. Okay, and that's the fun of it. Right? Uh, that is where uh, digital marketing profiles are, uh, are, are in such hot demand. Uh, because there's a lot of uh, optimization. There's a lot of uh, uh, on-the-job learning that is uh, required. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So people who want to get into, uh, so, you know, uh, Shobham, if you want to get into uh, uh, being a Google ad uh, account strategist, uh, you know, uh, uh, like I said, uh, you know, uh, be curious, uh, get some hands-on experience, uh, right. And, and just, just dive into the field, right. Uh, uh, this, this field will teach you a lot. I'm, I'm still learning on the job. Right. Anybody who tells you that they are into digital marketing and they are an expert, they are a guru. Uh, I mean, great. I mean, you may be an expert, you may be a guru, uh, you know, great, but, but you have to learn every day. Okay. This is one field. When I started my career, I started my career when right after my engineering, when I was 22, I, and digital marketing was so new. I used to present to CMOs and CEOs who were 40, 45. Okay. You know, what wins, uh, what makes a 20 year old win in front of a 45 year old who has great experience, great credentials. There's only one word, data. Okay, and 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 if you and 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 data is uh, uh, is not relate is is not a relative of anybody, right? So data is is just as unbiased as it gets. So uh, today, uh, you know, uh, there are people. Uh, so so don't don't get uh, uh, worried that you know you don't. It, it seems so overwhelming. There are so many things to know. Uh, everything changes. Okay, so what I knew one year uh, uh, before. Is relevant is, is irrelevant in the sense that it, it may not it may be outdated. So you have to keep upgrading yourself. I am not saying that experience does not teach you things. Experience definitely teaches you things. Uh, but uh, if you are not uh, updated, uh, this field is not going to uh, be of any benefit for you. And at the same time, it's such a blessing for people who want to enter because the barrier to entry is so low in this field. Uh, 
uh, right? You can literally enter and you can uh, you can uh, create your own best practices. You can create your own case studies, provided you have an inclination to interpret data. That becomes very very important, uh, right? And respect the data in that sense. Okay, uh, let me move to uh, the creative aspects. I think we've spoken too much about numbers, uh, right? And and again, uh, the reason we've spoken about numbers is numbers are important. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, now move to a few case studies. Okay, and remember, as I take these case studies, okay, uh, these case studies uh, are important in the sense, uh, and the reason I want to take these case studies is is because uh, you'll understand after seeing these case studies that there is no other medium uh, that can actually uh, do what these case studies uh, have achieved okay and uh, you know i i will uh, uh, I, I i i'll play a couple of videos and, and then we'll talk about it okay so this is the first video that i want to play big businesses and brands that suffered during the pandemic found their way back but the smaller stores still suffer this lockdown has been a real tough phase of my life I mean, I have seen bad days, but this was the worst. Last year, we helped small businesses through Diwali. So this year, we decided to bring it back. Presenting not just a Cadbury ad. This Diwali, we helped hundreds of small businesses by making India's biggest brand ambassador be their brand ambassador. This Diwali, you can also shop with your own fashion of emporium. Se hi और फिर एम्पायर फुटवेयर नाम तो सुना होगा अपना स्टाइलिश चश्मा बगल वाले हेवन आई ऑप्टिशन से ही लेना सिद्धि विनायक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स से लेटेस्ट स्मार्टफोन खरीद कर धमाकेदार सेल्फी पोस्ट करना क्या कर रहे हो मीठा लाए कि नहीं लाए हो ना यार अपने पास वाले रोशन किराना से आप भी अपना मीठा वहीं से लें। We used machine learning to recreate Shah Rukh Khan's face and voice to take the local store names in the ads. इस दिवाली आप भी ना अपने पास वाली choice of fashion से ही कपड़ों की shopping करना। पास वाले आजकल fashion से ही, royal fashion से ही, NK clothes से ही, पास वाली Lakshmi collection से ही कपड़ों की shopping करना। इस दिवाली आप भी ना अपने पास। Different versions of the same ad with local store names were targeted as per the pin code of the viewer, showing them only the nearby stores. But it is impossible to cover all the stores, so we gave the power to the people to create their own version of not just a Cadbury ad. Any small business owner could promote their stores through their own social media networks like WhatsApp forwards and other social media pages. हमारे आसपास की जो दुकानें हैं, उनकी दिवाली भी तो मीठी होनी चाहिए। Cadbury celebrations, not just a Cadbury ad. Okay, so uh, you know what Cadbury's has been able to do. Uh, you know, if if you followed the video, uh, it's something that can only be done on digital. Uh, there is no other uh, channel, no other medium today that will give you the ability uh, to have a brand ambassador dynamically take names of stores based on your nearest pin code. In the sense that if if Rohit is sitting in Bombay in Andheri. I will see a local uh, advertisement, and if there is someone called as Sumit who is sitting in Guwahati, they will see another uh, local store ad. Okay, uh, amazing, uh, you know, and and this again is a marriage of all the elements of the poem. So obviously, promoting this ad, paid media played a role. Creating this ad, uh, organic media played a role. Uh, you know, the video creation, uh, the 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 script of the video. Uh, optimizing it for YouTube organic search, SEO played a role, uh, right? Uh, Licensing with the brand ambassador, uh, getting influencers to post about this, uh, earned media played a role, and then tying it all together and 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 measuring how much uh, brand recall this is given Cadbury uh, measurement played a role, right? So that's that's how everything comes together. Okay, uh, I want to spend uh, some time uh, giving another uh, example and, and a couple of other examples. Okay. Uh, now we've all seen uh, traditionally the uh, the war between brands. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, and it, it still goes on till today. Uh, you know, there is the Pepsi and Coca-Cola war. 
uh, I don't know how many of you are 90s kids, uh, but if you are a 90s kid, you kind of remember, uh, you know, the war between Salman Khan and, and Shah Rukh Khan, Pepsi and Coca-Cola trying to compete with each other. Uh, uh, you know, uh, such such wars happen on digital as well. And uh, I want to actually, uh, you know, play this video. Uh, I'll not play this video fully, but, uh, you know, just, just play this video. I think, uh, uh, yeah, you guys can hear me. So I've shared my sound here. Yeah. Okay, so you, you can hear the uh, uh, the video, right? Uh, when I play it? Uh, yes, uh, Rohit, the last one was audible. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me play this video. Uh, so we are going to compare two brands. We are going to look at Flipkart and we are going to look at eBay. Okay, let me play the Flipkart video. Kiska hai? Ab next gift hai? Mommy, Papa ka! <laughs> look here, both of you, smile. Mm. <laughs> it's the fear, na? I don't know. Aap khol ke dekho. Kholo, kholo, kholo. Come on. Wow. Are you far? But it's Steffi, no? But it's so pretty. Dekho na. See? Hurry, yaar. Told you to get a Steffi doll. But I thought... But mama, I didn't get chocolate. I didn't get TV. 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 Baby, we'll get it for you tomorrow. Pakka promise, okay? No, I don't want it. Yashu. Okay, I'm going to pause this video, okay? And there's a reason that I have paused it. And let's, you know, let's look at the traction that this video has got. Okay, it's got 750 comments. It's got 90 million views, okay? Now, the reason I've taken this is because... Uh, I had uh, the privilege of uh, working on uh, a similar video uh, for a competing brand, right? Uh, now, uh, Flipkart definitely, even today, uh, is, is bigger than eBay in, in the Indian context at least, uh, right? And eBay came to us, uh, this is back during my uh, agency days, okay? And uh, eBay came to us and said that uh, uh, they want to, uh, you know, uh, they want to do something uh, and uh, the reason they want to do something on the video front is because Flipkart has just launched this particular ad that we played, okay? And uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the story behind it, but before that, let's let's uh, look at the uh, the ad by eBay, okay? Aaj finally ja raha hai. Aaj khadu sir ka akriti dhe. Rajista kaha hai? ऐसा कहीं होता है क्या? ये आज भी खनुस पर नहीं छोड़ेगा। ठीक है, ठीक है। बस करो ये तबाशा। चलो वापस अपने काम पे जाओ। प्रोविडेंट फंड के पैसे मिले इतने पैसों का भला मैं क्या करता अब जाओ मुझे और भी बहुत काम है जो चाहे मिल जाए ईबे डॉट इन it was uh, an interesting campaign uh, and uh, again when you when you look at uh, a campaign being done uh, right uh, uh, I, I i don't know uh, you know uh, let's let me let me let me put it this way okay uh, let me let me ask you guys if you can use the chat section uh, you saw both the videos and uh, you saw ebay and you saw uh, flipkart which video did you find more interesting you can use the chat uh, section to answer Okay, 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 all right, keep it coming, keep it coming. Okay, so I've counted about 10 eBay's and two flip cards. Uh, yeah, okay, both are interesting. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm waiting for more answers. Okay, Arman says eBay has a better emotional connect. Okay, Aditya, quick to the point, eBay. Okay, eBay again from Yukta. 
है बोथ फ्रॉम विजेश ईबे बोथ का चार्ट पर्सनली बताया ओके ईबे ओके एक्सेलेंट ओके सो आई गोट अ मिक्स लीनिंग टुवर्ड्स ईबे ओके चंदन सेज फ्लिपकार्ट फेयर इनफ ओके नाउ आई टेल यू अ थॉट बिहाइंड दिस ओके एंड व्हाई दिस इज अ केस स्टडी कंटेंट इज वेरी सब्जेक्टिव ओके सम मे लाइक ईबे सम मे लाइक फ्लिपकार्ट uh okay uh, and it's 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 perfect uh, okay uh, i mean everybody has their own choices okay uh, what's important is the conceptualization behind the content okay uh, the reason this is a case study is when you look at ebay's youtube insights data or youtube analytics data uh, right you see that majority of the people uh, who are following or who are subscribers of the youtube ebay channel uh they have an interest of education and an interest of learning uh and and then you kind of uh, also uh, do a age bracketization and you see that it's all over the place so so there are males and females between the age group of 22 25 to uh, 45 uh, which are majority of their subscribers uh but all of them have one major interest in common uh, common and that interest is learning or education okay and you kind of use that data point to come up with an insight and that insight is see the flipkart video is is very good okay uh, uh, and 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 i'm not trying to put the flipkart video down but the flipkart video appeals to a couple that has a female child now you before doing such a video and again i'm not i'm not uh, discouraging anything i'm just talking about data insights being very very important before doing any kind of a video you need to understand that probably the ebay video appeal to a majority of you because uh, you know and 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 then you talk about the uh, target demographic and you talk about the target group of flipkart and ebay not every customer of flipkart or not every subscriber of flipkart is married number one and second not every one who is married uh, and who is a customer of flipkart has a kid and not everybody who is a kid has a female kid and resonates to the doll story right uh, so that that is the flipkart story ebay on the other hand had one small insight they said that our demographics in terms of age are all over the place 25 to 45 25 to 50 but they have one thing in common all of them have an interest or an inclination towards education and and the small insight here is that what whatever happens okay uh you have studied in colleges you have studied in schools okay uh we all have different educations we have different exposure to education uh okay but at some point in your life you would have come across one khadus male teacher or female teacher which who is a khadus teacher which you will always remember okay and that was something that resonated with uh, uh with with the ebay audience uh, again this is not done by fluke uh, this is based on a data insight uh and and that is why the resonance was great right and uh, again all of this only possible uh with uh, digital okay uh because this data uh is only available uh on digital channels and 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 let's say hypothetically you got it wrong within two days you will know that uh, the video has been seen by 1000 uh, people but nobody has liked it let's try something else only digital gives you the flexibility Okay, before we open the floor for question and answers, I also want to uh, talk about uh, uh, the role of thematic campaigns and evergreen campaigns. Okay, and uh, let me let me play what I call a thematic campaign, uh, which again goes into the realm of uh, uh, you know video advertising, uh, video marketing, social media marketing, on media. Okay, let's let's see this. भाई तूने आज मुझे कोई गिफ्ट नहीं दिया तो मैं खुद ही चला आया गिफ्ट आज लेकिन आपकी बर्थडे में और 
बरसी में तो अभी अरे बेटा आज फादर्स डे है ना आई एम सॉरी पापा बैठ मुझे आपसे एक बात कहनी थी आपके चीते जी मैं कभी कह नहीं पाया चूंकि आज मैं खुद एक पिता हूं तो समझ सकता हूं कि एक पिता के लिए अपने बच्चे से सुनना कैसा लगेगा मैं आपसे बेहद प्यार करता था पापा हमेशा I love you dad so much on uh, uh, video content is because uh, i have seen uh, in in my career the world move from uh, 3m to 3v's uh, what i what i mean by that is when i started my career digital marketing was all about males uh, male being more dominant on digital marketing uh, uh, a lot of female population did not come on uh, digital marketing platforms it was uh, uh, restricted to metros and then you saw an outburst of mobile so as as soon as 3g came into the country as soon as uh, smartphones came into the country uh, you saw males metros people from metros and males from metros uh, flock in big numbers uh, using the mobile device to the internet that has actually now changed to 3 weeks okay vernacular is very very important in today's world uh, you know voice is very very important in today's world and the third is visual content uh, okay so vernacular visual and voice uh this is the uh, this is the reality of today uh with metaverse coming in i don't know whether metaverse will be big or not please don't take this as my uh, my agreement to what's happening with the metaverse i don't know whether it will be big or not but if it is big then you will have maybe uh three uh, three a's or three b's or whatever right so uh, uh, currently it's uh, uh, currently video vernacular and voice is moving Uh, and that's why uh, you see uh, some video example as well okay uh, yeah <laughs> so that yes uh, you know i i wish i could uh, you know explain the uh, ad uh, in 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 a uh, it's in hindi i i wish i could explain it in english but uh, don't don't worry about it it is just used as an example to uh, to to communicate the importance of uh, video communication right and like i said vernacular does not only mean uh, hindi it could be any language uh, right and again i'm not saying english is not important it is still the uh, language of the internet uh, but uh, you have uh, uh, you have uh, uh, vernacular kind of becoming important Okay. Okay. Let me. Uh, yeah. So uh, the session oh. is uh, is over. I would like to open it for questions. Makes a lot of sense, Rohit. And uh, I mean, uh, those were some very uh, you know timeless and powerful kind of campaigns that that you showed us, right? Uh, guys, uh, like uh, I'm sure you're really enjoying the masterclass and uh, are inspired to take up digital marketing, right? And if you uh, want to keep on. Uh, getting more such content uh, like this masterclass uh, we have uh, a lot of other sessions we have a lot of other uh, you know uh, written and creative content on on digital marketing as well uh, we where we you know uh, keep on uh, uh, giving you stuff which which is more informational uh, about the profession right so uh, for all of that just take out a couple of minutes to fill up uh, the form uh that are put on chat and we will keep on notifying you about such sessions uh 
we'll also uh, keep on sending you more material on digital marketing and our learning consultants uh, will reach out to you to give you career counseling on uh, digital marketing you can learn more from them about uh, our uh, five month uh, certification course on digital marketing right uh, now we are taking questions so you can put them on on the chat uh while while uh, people's questions are are being answered uh, you can take a couple of minutes to fill up the form whoever is interested in receiving more content on digital marketing thank you over to you rohit yeah let me take arman's question so what is the roadmap of becoming an expert digital marketer so uh, arman you will uh, never uh, uh, let me let me say it with a lot of humility you will never uh, become an expert so don't worry about it too much uh, you know start your career get hands on experience okay uh, you are you are you are more than welcome to enroll for uh, for a course uh, it it does help uh, but uh, more importantly after you complete a course get into any of the four aspects of the poem and get started with it uh, expertise will follow okay so don't worry about that um, yeah uh, prarathi i am I, i hope i pronounced your name correctly uh she says i am very interested in directing and preparing content for ads where should i start uh another doubt is is promotion sponsorship and marketing under the same roof or they are different yeah so pranati there are two aspects uh, if you are if you are interested in directing and preparing content for ads that would fall under the realm of uh, uh you know owned media or earned media uh you know that is where social media and content marketing would fit in uh promotion sponsorship and marketing would uh, lead towards the paid aspect so yes they are two different verticals so what i suggest is you either start with uh, a content marketing profile or you start with a uh, paid promotions profile uh, don't worry about it uh, if if you are really uh, interested in creating content for ads as you move higher up the ad, uh, ladder it doesn't matter whether you start with content or you whether you start with ads you will get to do both but in the beginning uh, become an expert or 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 you know start with one uh, area either content or either ads uh, okay uh, okay all right uh, what is the minimum salary in the start and what is the career part of it okay uh, i i love this question okay because uh, it is uh, you know let me be very very honest and upfront here uh, there is shortage of talent at the top of the pyramid and the bottom of the pyramid and and again i i don't want to take you know uh, i don't want to be quoted on this uh but uh, uh top of the pyramid in the sense that someone with uh, you know 10 plus years of experience uh, uh salary ranges are uh, uh, going uh, as high as 1 cr uh someone who is the middle of the pyramid someone with 3 to 5 years of experience i have seen uh, salaries go to 25 30 40 uh, lakhs per annum but at the same time uh, this is a field where uh, hands on expertise uh, recognition in the industry plays an important role uh, so there are tangents you you will see someone with a 10 year experience also still at a package of 10 lakhs uh, and 12 lakhs and you will see someone with a 10 year experience at a package of 50 lakhs as well uh, to start with uh, uh, again the salary ranges from a ctc perspective uh, you know uh, a large agency or a large size brand would pay you anywhere between 3 to 5 lakhs an annum to start with Uh, a low, a smaller agency would be in the range of two to three lakhs, so that is uh, the minimum per month salary. Uh, uh, I think how to decide on the costs or points from the side will help you. I don't quite understand that question. You will have to ask it again. Are you talking about cost of doing a digital marketing course? Are, are you talking about cost of advertising? If you if you ask it again, I'll be able to answer it better. Uh, Yash, how do you promote business through digital marketing? Uh, see, if your business is uh, is has just started, uh, the easiest way to kind of promote it is uh, investing uh, some small amount like five uh, uh, to ten thousand in digital advertising. uh choose one channel uh, either start with google either start with facebook uh start small try and get inquiries uh that's the way to kind of uh, promote it quickly uh if you don't want to start with the paid investment uh be active on linkedin uh, create an instagram profile uh start pushing content uh, through that instagram profile facebook page it's a slow process uh, but if if you are at it and if you are iterative it will it will kind of uh, you know work ashish the best way to start in earn media is uh, gather that information uh, and it's up to you whether you want to kind of uh, you know gather it via course whether you want to do your own research uh, you know either, either way is whatever works for you uh, more most importantly if you do choose to uh, choose to kind of uh, enroll in a course make sure that you back it up with uh, an internship that gives you hands on exposure 
uh, right? I started my career as an intern, uh, right? And I, 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 I love the fact that I interned uh, for six months uh, at a very, very discounted salary, uh, uh, right? But, but that's what has made me uh, what I am. So start with a course, uh, start with uh, reading online, whatever works, but most importantly, supplement the course with a uh, hands-on internship. Uh, okay, uh, Arman again, uh, you know, expecting in the beginning, expect a CTC of as low as 2 lakhs to as high as 5 lakhs. That's what the beginning is. Uh, Aditya, what are the core knowledge requirements to get started with a good company and land a job? Uh, Aditya, what I look for is uh, uh, inclination, uh, curiosity and the ability to learn. Okay, so I don't expect anyone to be an expert in digital marketing when they come in. Uh, and I was talking to Romit uh, just before the session and I am not related to Abhyad at all, uh, right? And uh, I, I, I told him that I, I love doing uh, these sessions with students and I, I think it will benefit the industry if people like you, uh, Aditya, who want to get into the industry, come with some basic understanding, uh, okay? That is all that uh, people in the industry uh, like me ask for, okay? We don't expect you to be an expert. Uh, uh, we don't expect you to be over smart. Uh, come with a learning attitude, uh, but at least know what is the difference between paid media and organic media. What is the difference between SEO and SEM? That is all you need to know, Aditya. Uh, uh, yeah, starting an agency, Arman, uh, you know, this, I get uh, asked this question a lot. Uh, I don't uh, start my own agency. I have been asked multiple times why don't you start your own agency. Uh, my take is a little different. Uh, I am very passionate about digital marketing. Uh, the moment I start my own digital marketing uh, and I, I work as the CEO, I am more of a sales guy than a digital expert, right? Uh, you have to, in an agency business, it's a great business to be in. Uh, my only advice uh, uh, to you if you want to get into the agency business is uh, don't spread yourself too thin. Okay, if you're passionate about digital marketing, handle it in a way that you will be involved in all the accounts at the beginning. And, and, and when you grow, get people who are better than you, who are as good as you, under you, so that you can hand it over. A lot of brilliant uh, digital marketers who have started their digital agency, uh, you know, the agency either uh, is not doing too well or it shuts down. There are good people who have started whose agencies are doing well, okay? And I'm, I, but, but there are a, a good number of people who, who kind of struggle with the agency and that's because uh, from being a passionate digital marketer, all their time is going in doing business development, all their time is going in doing business development and sales. So they don't have enough time to uh, strategize on digital marketing projects, which they used to love to. And that's the reason they started that digital marketing agency. A lot of time is going uh, into sales. So do not make that mistake. Uh, this field requires a lot of research, a lot of passion. Uh, you know, uh, if you can manage your time between sales and business development and uh, the expertise of uh, uh, digital marketing strategy for your clients, uh, if you can be involved with both, uh, go ahead and start your agency. If not, uh, you know, uh, it's it's going to, uh, uh, you, you need to learn how to balance business development with digital strategy, um, right? Uh, yeah, Yukta, how to check if the information we are consuming is right enough uh, if you offer free resources. Yeah, Yukta, that's one of the problems that has been, uh, you know, plaguing the industry. A lot of the content that you, uh, get free of cost is either from someone who has not personally worked on their campaigns. Uh, you know, it's, it's just been put there. Uh, so uh, I would, again, something that is uh, freely available, I would uh, take it with a pinch of salt, uh, right? Uh, be very, very careful. The only way to validate that information is to do it yourself. Um, I, I would go, I would go to the extent of saying that, uh, uh, you know, and I'm not saying all free resources are bad, uh, right? There are some some free resources that are that are good, uh, but just just be very very careful. Validate it from three or four places, uh, you know, where where possible. Uh, do it yourself. Uh, you know, go, go for a uh, go for a paid program wherever possible. Just just safer that way. Uh, right, uh, Rohit. I I would just like to add add a couple of things there. Uh, so to the people uh, who are wondering, like how how can they start? Of course, as Rohit mentioned, that uh, you know there is a lot of free material online, but then uh, uh, you can't just be very sure with that. That is one part of it, right? Uh, we have a very structured program here, which is which is a five month program, and you know people who are coming and teaching are coming with a lot of industry exp experience, uh, are coming with with a lot of credibility. There are people who have done that for like ten years, fifteen years, right? People like Rohit. Uh, we have SMEs, right, uh, who come and teach here, right? 
so we ensure that that the quality is that way. And to the point that Rohit made about internships, uh, we prepare you for internships. We prepare you for the jobs. We prepare you for the interviews. We get you interviews. In fact, we we ensure that you get three interviews with uh, our partner companies. We have over 300 partner companies, which includes Microsoft, which includes uh, um, Ola, which includes Cred, all of these uh, you know, new age brands, all of the big tech, they're partners with us. So we get you interviews there, right? Uh, and that is why, I mean, uh, I would recommend that you consider uh, Upgrad Campus's course, right? Uh, and, and if you are interested, just uh, uh, fill up the form that I'm putting on the chat, uh, we will reach out to you if you're interested for the course or if you're just interested in knowing more about uh, sessions like these, master classes like these, uh, if you're uh, getting content on digital marketing, if you're interested in getting a free counseling session, we will take care of all of it. You just fill up the form and uh, we will be in touch. Now you're a part of like uh, the Upgrad family and we will ensure that you find the right sort of career path for you. Over to you, Rohit. Yeah, so I think another question, uh, Shizan, uh, you know, uh, which is a better bet, SMM or SEM agency? Uh, uh, Shizan, again, it, it depends on your passion, okay? Uh, I can give you a list of SMM agencies doing very well. Uh, I can give you a list of SEM agencies uh, very well. Uh, you can start with one of them, uh, but be aware that uh, there will come a point, uh, whether it is six months from your start date, one year from your start date, three years from your start date, that you will have to start becoming an integrated digital marketing firm, right? Uh, because the reason I go to an agency today uh, is because uh, uh, I, as a CMO, want everything under one roof. Uh, so it always is an advantage to kind of do multiple things. Uh, but I don't see any difference in SEM or uh, SMM. You, can, you could start as uh, any. It just depends on your interest. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. What are the obstacles that follow while pursuing digital marketing? Yeah. The number one obstacle is, uh, you know, uh, be ready to uh, uh, experience failure. Don't get fail fast. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, this is a medium where you can, if, if you're doing search engine optimization, you can try 10 things. Uh, in, in a matter of three months and establish your own best practice. If you're doing ads, you can try seven ads in a matter of uh, five days and you can establish your own best practice. Uh, social media, you can uh, you, you can come up with 20 uh, uh, creative memes, for example, and, and figure out which is the best one that is performing. So be ready to experiment. Uh, don't ever be close to learning. Uh, the number one obstacle in digital marketing is uh, uh, people at some point of time uh, tend to become comfortable and say that they know it all. Uh, remember, uh, it's 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 a feed that uh, uh, that gets even uh, in in that sense. You know, uh, I always say that if I'm on a holiday and uh, uh, if I don't have my mobile uh, phone uh, while I'm holidaying, and that holiday is more than two weeks, uh, I'm going to be behind by two weeks. So I need to come back and catch up. Uh, so the point that I'm trying to make is that uh, have that curiosity of learning. Uh, this field changes very very fast. It's dynamic and it's dynamic for for the for the good sense. Uh, right, uh, somebody who appreciates that uh, dynamism and is, is able to deal with it, uh, you'll be able to do really well. Uh, Rohit, uh, just one thing, uh, we can take more questions, uh, but then since it's already 7.30, we'll take two minutes to launch the poll, uh, do the quiz with people, and then like those uh, who don't have uh, any questions can drop after that, right? Oh, so let me yes. do that. Okay. So the uh, quiz is just based on the session itself, guys. Take a minute to just answer the quiz. Right. And anyone who answers uh, all the questions correctly uh, will receive a ranker discount on, on our course. Uh, so that is the added advantage. And it's just a way to check uh, your knowledge. We'll uh, send you uh, like the correct responses after the session. So just take a minute and answer the quiz. It's on the poll section. Uh, if you're not able to find it, it's it's under the poll section on Zoom. Just take a minute and uh, do the poll. Can, can you guys see the quiz? Okay, I've started receiving responses. And uh, for those of you who want to keep on receiving more content on digital marketing, if you haven't filled the form already, just take a couple of minutes. Uh, there's a form on the chat box, just fill it. And 
you know, we'll uh, keep on sending you notifications about more such master classes. We'll keep on sending you more content on digital marketing. Uh, what will be the starting salary uh, by upgrade? Someone is asking on the chat. Uh, Shiva, the, uh, our learning consultants will will be able to guide you there better. But uh, uh, you know, as far as my knowledge on this goes, uh, we have placed uh, people at like at an average of around uh, you know five to six lakh rupees per annum. Uh, to, to begin with, uh, pay scales have gone as, as high as 10 lakh rupees per annum. Uh, but those are obviously exceptional cases. So consider it to be an average of, uh, you know, uh, six lakhs per annum. That, that is the average where we are. Yeah. And then that's fairly in line with the market. The advantage you get is obviously, you know, uh, these are our partner companies and um, these are few of the top brands. So once they are on your CV, you're able to grow really fast and well. Okay. So have all of you taken the poll? The quiz, uh, guys, just answer it. Uh, so far, only 70% of the participants have taken the quiz. Rest of you, just take a minute to take the quiz and fill up the form if you want more content on digital marketing to come your way. The form is on the chat. Rohit, okay. if you want to keep on taking the questions, you can. We, we won't waste people's time. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think uh, I have answered most of the questions. If I have not answered your questions, can I request you to uh, please post it again uh, in the Q&A session. I'd be happy to take uh, more questions. And guys, if you are done with the quiz and you don't have any questions and you've filled the form on the chat box, feel free to just drop off. Uh, you've been a great audience. Thank you for being so interactive. Uh, we hope it's been a learning session for you. And um, uh, visit our website, uh, that's upgradecampus.com. Uh, I'll, I'll put the website and the link to our digital marketing course on uh, the chat box. Yeah, so Subrato has a question. Uh, being a final year BMS HR student, is there any scope for me to be successful in digital marketing or is it related to sales? Uh, so Subrato, definitely not related to sales, uh, uh, you know. Uh, now uh, you know it's uh, you may you may specialize in uh, in in any field so long as you are interested in pursuing digital marketing. Uh, there's always scope. Uh, the the best example I give is of myself. Uh, uh, I my bachelor's is in uh, engineering and my specialization was mechanical engineering. Uh, it's nowhere closely related to what I do today. Um, right. So digital marketing and mechanical engineering, uh, they are two different worlds, right? So, uh, your background is not necessarily a deterrent, uh, Subrata, uh, Subrato. Uh, and yeah, digital marketing is, is not related to sales. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, that's, that is what I would say. Thank you, Ajit. Thanks for the kind words. Thanks a lot, Rohit. Thank you for your time. Uh, it's it's been a great learning session for everyone i'm sure and uh, yeah i hope that uh, you know out of this session uh, some digital marketers of tomorrow uh, tomorrow's india uh, come out and build great brands of tomorrow uh, run timeless campaigns like the ones you showed uh, yeah change the world yeah, yeah i hope so uh, selva praveen had a question uh, so uh, Selva Praveen, you are pursuing the MBA in digital marketing. What type of skills uh, you need to learn? Uh, uh, get hands on, uh, Selva Praveen. It's, it's great that you are doing a course. Uh, that's the first step. Uh, so you, you do have an inclination towards digital marketing. Uh, but uh, uh, it'll be great if you can uh, get an internship which will te teach you to do stuff uh, hands on. Uh, that will be a differentiator in addition to the course that you're doing.
and selva praveen you can obviously additionally consider our certification program it's it's a shorter course and uh, we prepare you for interviews as well so you can get that internship or job which you are looking for i think since you're already you know are going to be out of your mba soon uh, you should be able to get a job directly yeah so is there an mba in digital marketing so not a certified uh, mba in digital marketing um i happen to be on the board of studies of uh, soma institute of management studies and research uh, we've been deliberating whether there should be a mba in digital marketing in the industry um and again i am not discouraging anyone or any university that is having an mba in digital marketing but uh, uh, uh if if you were to do an mba and uh, uh, you know uh, i i had the uh, Uh, so I uh, so 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 if you were to let, let me put it this way, if if you were to do an MBA, uh, I would rather do it in a, a broader field uh, like marketing uh, than go very niche in digital marketing. And 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 again, no 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 disrespect to someone who's doing it. Okay, I mean you you can choose to do it. The logic behind this is uh, uh, you know uh, if we were to make it so niche, tomorrow there'll be an MBA in SEO. Uh, there can be an MBA in Google Ads. Uh, there can be an MBA in Facebook advertising. You know what I'm saying? It's see at the end of the day, uh, every form of marketing uh, today is digital. Uh, so you need to understand marketing to be able to understand digital. Uh, so it's good to kind of uh, do an MBA in a broader field uh, where the subset of it is digital marketing. Uh, yeah, uh, will, will that change uh, five years down the line, ten years down the line? I don't know. But as of now, there isn't. Uh, formalized uh, uh, education for mba and digital marketing in a large scale uh, fashion uh, there may be some institutes that are doing it uh, but uh, yeah it's it's still uh, it's still important to uh, know that it's a it's a facet of uh, marketing and probably uh, tomorrow we say that the only form of marketing that's uh, available is digital or all form of advertising is digital but uh, today we are talking about connected tvs we are talking about uh, digital out of home hoardings uh, so okay but but those aspects of marketing principles of marketing will will always be in place if there are no other questions i think we can uh, end the session thanks a lot thanks everyone thank you rohit thank you so much thank you